What difference does it make? Who cares if she doesn't like you? Does everybody in the world have to like you? Yes! Yes! <laughs> everybody has to like me. I must be liked. It's a two-hour drive. Once you get in that car, we are going all the way to the Hamptons. <laughs> All right, you want to get nuts? Come on. Let's get nuts! You can't have a relationship where one person says, I love you, and the other one says, I'm hungry. Let's get something to eat. I mean, would it kill you not to be so funny all the time? That's all I'm asking. This woman thinks I'm very funny, and now you're going to be funny, so what am I going to be? I'm going to be a short, bald guy with glasses who suddenly doesn't seem so funny. I'll tell you something. I wish there were pigmen. You got a few of these pigmen walking around. Suddenly, I'm looking a lot better. <laughs> that way, if someone wanted to fix me up, they could say, hey, at least he's no pigman. I'm only paying half. You can't do that. Why not? He's a doctor. You got to pay what he says. Oh, no, 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 no. I pay what I say. <laughs> I was raised to say, God bless you. <laughs> ah, shut up. Look at these salesmen. The only thing these guys fear is the walkout. No matter what they say, you say, I'll walk out of here right now. Can I help you with something? Hold it! One more step and we're walking! I'm not treating you to lunch anymore! <laughs> you had to tell Julie that I made a special point of telling you that I bought you the big salad, didn't you? Uh, uh, uh. You know, <laughs> if it was a regular salad, I wouldn't have said anything. <laughs> but you had to have that big salad! Oh, hey, 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 that's great. That's very nice. You know, we've been waiting 20 minutes for you people. What do you think, you're Mussolini? Back off, puffball, it's not my car! <laughs> Wasn't talking to you. <laughs> Every time we go out to eat, the minute we're done eating, she's running for the bathroom. So you're concerned? Elaine, of course I'm concerned. I'm paying for those meals. You think you're so damn special because you say God bless you? Oh, I, I, I don't think I'm special. I, my mother always said I'm not special. We're pathetic, you oh. know that? Yeah, like I don't know that I'm pathetic. <laughs> this woman hates me so much. I'm starting to like her. <laughs> what? She just dislikes me so much. It's irresistible. A George divided against itself cannot stand. Elaine, bald men with no jobs and no money who live with their parents <laughs> don't approach strange women. Now, you listen to me. <laughs> I want details, and I want them right now. I don't have a job. I have no place to go. You're not in the mood. Well, you get in the mood. <laughs> I don't think I could do it. You know, they always remember the first time. I don't want to be remembered. I want to be forgotten. Any other questions? How do you live with yourself? It's not easy. <laughs> what are you, some kind of nut? <laughs> you know, we're living in a society! What the hell are you doing? I am eating my dessert. How do you eat it? With your hands? <laughs> Do you ever just get down on your knees and thank God that you know me and have access to my dementia? <laughs> well, I pressed on, and as I made my way past the breakers, a strange calm came over me. I, I don't know if it was divine intervention or the kinship of all living things, but I tell you, Jerry, at that moment, I was a marine biologist. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was in the pool! I was in the pool! I think that you think that a certain something is not all that it could be, when in fact, it is all that it should be and more. I'm sure it is. Look, you don't understand. There was shrinkage. Why couldn't you make me an architect? You know I always wanted to pretend that I was an architect. Right now I sit around pretending that I'm busy. How do you pull that off? I always look annoyed. <laughs> yeah, when you look annoyed all the time, people think that you're busy. <laughs> think about it. I don't like when a woman says, make love to me. It's, it's intimidating. 
The last time a woman said that to me, I wound up apologizing to her. Really? That's a lot of pressure. Make love to me. What am I, in the circus? You know, I've been thinking. I cannot envision any circumstance in which I'll ever have the opportunity to have sex again. You know, if you take everything I've accomplished in my entire life and condense it down into one day, it looks decent. I tell you, if I was running for office, I would ask for the death penalty for double parkers. If this is allowed to go on, this is not a society. This is anarchy! Who are you, George Costanza? I'm the opposite of every guy you've ever met. But I'm disturbed. I'm depressed. I'm inadequate. I got it all! <laughs> well, the jerk store called. They're running out of you. <laughs> What's the difference? You're their all-time bestseller! <laughs> yeah? Well, I had sex with your wife! It's not you. It's me. You're giving me the it's not you, it's me routine? I invented it's not you, it's me. Or not, George isn't at home. Please leave a message at the beep. I must be out before I pick up the phone. Where could I be? <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm not home. So please, a little respect. For I am Costanza, Lord of the Idiots. Jerry, just remember. It's not a lie if you believe it.